Dragon Ball Super explains how Vegeta's new Ultra Ego form works with the newest chapter of the series. Fans anticipated for the newest chapter of the series and this anticipation exploded before its debut, as Vegeta got trending on social media as fans couldn't wait to see what his new form had in store. The previous chapter of the series saw Vegeta unleash a brand new form that he had acquired through his training with Beerus, but we were left to wonder not only what the name of this new form was, but the kinds of abilities and power boost it had offered. Now, a quick reminder, to never miss content like this, make sure to like and subscribe for more, with that in mind, let's get started. With the debut of the newest chapter of the series, we finally got a crash course in Vegeta's new form that he's officially dubbed as Ultra Ego. This form greatly differs from Goku's Ultra Instinct in that Vegeta completely maintains the control of his mind and body while using it, but there are some other major key differences as Vegeta explains the nuances of how his new form works with the release of the newest chapter as he continues his fight against Granula. After teasing that this new power is unbounded, with the cliffhanger of the previous chapter, Chapter 75 opens with Vegeta explaining to Granula that his Ultra Ego form is one that he was able to craft after learning about this destructive power from Beerus. He boasts that the hotter his battle soul burns, the stronger he gets, and we see this in action as he continues to take damage from Granula and is able to overcome Granula's counterattacks. And with each new blow, Vegeta comes back stronger than before. Soon, he takes the fighting to the ruins of a Serialian city, doing massive damage to what remains of Granula's heritage. After a brief conversation about just what a god of destruction is, Vegeta reveals that his battle with Granula has awakened a new, innate power inside of him. Granula then tries to blast Vegeta with a series of energy attacks, but the Saiyan proves too much for him. Hiding inside an energy shield, Granula is initially unable to understand why Vegeta isn't even bothering to dodge Granula's attacks, realizing that his opponent's transformation is unlike that of Goku. Don't you dare compare his pathetic technique to my own, Vegeta says. Kakarot's body may have a mind of its own, but I'm all ego. In fact, go ahead and call this Ultra Ego, he says. Thus, Vegeta's new transformation officially has a name, Ultra Ego. Interestingly enough, it's also not a form the gods use, but instead, this is entirely unique to Vegeta. He confirms that it's his own, and it was awakened through the battle with Granula as it unleashes his innate power. Now, instead of avoiding danger, Vegeta's new form willfully turns into it in order to get a strength boost as a result, as this helps to fuel his fighting spirit which in turn makes him more powerful. Unfortunately as we see in the fight, it also has a very short limit. Vegeta's Ultra Ego is limited by his actual body, and, like its name suggests, his bark might be more than his bite, as his willingness to damage himself is what will ultimately make this form a glass cannon or even a double-edged sword. It proves to be a form that he should only use at quick bursts until it's fully mastered. Especially since it's a form that gets stronger over time, so if a powerful enough opponent appears, they can take him out by dishing out more damage than his body can withstand, and eventually that boost would not help, it's similar to the video game character called Blood Rose Hameko, from the Honkai Impact 3rd game, where her ultimate form makes her more incredibly powerful as she fights on, but her health will keep depleting until she's unconscious, but then again, there's still the question of what a fully mastered version of this will look like for Vegeta. But what do you think? How are you liking Vegeta's Ultra Ego form so far? Are you curious to see whether or not it can compare to Ultra Instinct? How do you think Vegeta can make it stronger? Let us know all of your thoughts about it in the comments. And if you found value in this video, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe for more updates, and choose one of these videos for more content, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.